Hey friends, welcome to Campbell River. This is the video tour of uh, our new place. So up that road is uh, Dogwood Street, which if you could drive five minutes to the north, you're downtown. This is Maircroft Road, where we live. And if you walk about five minutes that way, you get to the Beaver Lodge lands, which is kind of like the endowment lands in Vancouver. And here's the entrance to our place. That's our house straight ahead. I'm actually kidding. That's our workshop, and it needs to be sided sometime this summer. Come on in. That's Sarah and Jeff's house beyond those maple trees. They have their own driveway just a little bit further on. That's Maircroft Road. And here is our humble abode beyond these fir trees. So here's the front of the workshop. It's a great space and uh, yeah it's wired for 220 volts so we can put some cool toys in there and uh, yeah we'll just need to work on the outside and the roof at some point. Here's our place and the backyard. That thing's on skids and uh, we hope to move that out to one of the fields eventually once we get a tractor. Right now it just houses our firewood backyard. We found a grapevine back there and an apricot tree in that jumble. They didn't do too well this year. So beyond this trailer that's going to the dump, it's mostly fencing and just total waste garbage that we can't use from the former owners. We were able to salvage quite a bit of um, lumber and fencing, but this stuff is just uh, totally jumbled. Anyway, you don't want to see that. Here's the entrance to the farm, with the barn straight ahead. It's nice new grass, courtesy of Dwight's home landscaping. Sarah and Jeff's uh, backyard, I guess you could call it. Some really big trees on the property. our new temporary fire pit. That's the tractor shed straight ahead. We'll go down there in a minute. And here is our backyard. Need some TLC and I'm building a deck out there so there's a bunch of my junk. Beautiful tall uh, red cedar tree right in front of our place. So Kaiush likes the goats. Kaiush is our dog. Um, she mostly likes to eat their poo. And then she likes to lick us. So someone told me about farm vision, which is where you just kind of hang out and watch your animals. And uh, here's a good example. These are our goats and sheep. We just put them in this area to help us get rid of the blackberries. And I decided to put that old sawhorse that I found down there and just put a couple planks on it and the goats love it. They seem to always want to jump up high. They're like dumb cats, basically. It's our pond that's refilling. It's basically just a, a drainage pond and it was completely dry through most of the summer. So these two goats on the left are both pregnant and they're supposed to be due any day. That brown one is uh, getting huge but um, so far no kids. They're both alpine goats. The two smaller ones on the left and right they are Nigerian dwarf goats and they're loud. In the background, that white sheep is April. She was born in April. Actually, she was born right in that tractor shed. And then uh, that's our other, the black sheep in the family. Here's a view of the back of our place, the deck in progress. I'm just working on the railings right now. This is what we call the orchard. It extends about another, oh, 70 or 80 feet. Um, to the south, and there's an old apple tree in there that actually had a huge crop, which is kind of fun. We'd like to plant some more fruit trees there. And this is looking back up towards Sarah and Jeff's place. And the barn, in the distance there, 
is uh, there's another three or four stalls there for horses. Right now it's empty. So these two uh, from left to right are uh, Cher, that's Cher on the left, the brown one, and that's Maisie. We had some adventures getting them onto the property. Unfortunately, they're uh, the bottom of the totem pole, of the social hierarchy, at least of these animals. Everyone chases them around, except for us, the humans. Even the sheep get involved. Maisie's getting a cute beard, and so is Cher. and the sheep. So that's the tractor stall where April was born. We uh, thought that, uh, who's her mom? That one there, the black one, Julie. We were told she was probably pregnant, but then her due date came and went with no lamb until uh, a couple weeks later she, uh, she popped out. And you can see why we have goats. We love their ability to just eat trees and shrubs and stuff that we don't really want to have around. A lot of this property is overgrown with various trees, alder trees, uh, blackberries, other roughage, and the goats love it. So we've got them going to town in this area here. Here's some more of our pasture. As you can see, it's completely grown. It's gone through a couple full seasons without really being nibbled on. The sheep and goats do their best, but they, uh, they're they not as powerful in terms of grazing as uh, some other larger animals. So next spring and summer, we'd like to we'd like to bring in some bigger animals that can help us take care of this. Our property extends beyond um, those tall trees uh, over to that next set of trees that you can see down there. Random bathtub. The way they've set up the fencing on the property is actually really clever. So there's mm, about six distinct different pastures, um, all of about ooh, half acre in size. It's about right. So it's a great setup for uh, rotating different animals around. We just need to get some more animals. So this area here needs some TLC. We cut down some willow boughs, willow branches, I should say, as we were building this, which is the tree fort. More on that in a sec.